Anything the guy can get his hands on. Getting arrested on Mauna Watea. Not your puni. These are one of, again, our true Kia'i. For a long time, Aloha Aina Hawaii, we're gonna bring up to the stage. Brother Andre Perez, Pai Pai Lipa Kako. Give it up! Ule kako e umaho kia i mai ka po mai lana ia mai ka haleo kako ai luna lalo mai ka hiki hia ka hiki hi mai ka hiki na te komohana mai ka uka te kai mai no ka awa kia i ia ma lama ia e paleo ka ma ho ki ni kia ka mai ko ka ko a ma ma ua no aloha 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 aina kako, o wao o Andre Perez, do koloa oa i mai au. I'm very happy to be here. Mahalo i mai for the grand entrance. I just want to start off by saying I'm nobody special. I'm just like you guys, every single one of you. I just choose to apply myself and my time to working for the Lahui, a life of service for the Lahui, and try to create opportunities to empower our Lahui, our Lahui Kanaka, our Hawaiian community. Um, a lot of things were said, and I, to be honest, um, I struggled with what am I going to talk about that's different, significant, relevant uh, to everybody who's listening. And so I'm not going to really spend too much time talking about what happened to us 125 years ago, because everybody should know that. I know that we do. Um, but I wanted to take time to reflect on sources of power, sources of power that lead to progress for us. And so the topic that I'm going to talk about for the next eight, nine minutes is really uh, rooted in Hawaiian activism and dispelling some of the negative stigma around activism. To the, um, we have this label that activists are, activism and activists are somehow unruly, uncouth. People associate activism with protest, with screaming and yelling, standing on the street corner holding signs and reducing it just to protest. But I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about and, and share some history, some historical facts about Hawaiian activism and kind of break it down to show that most of our progress as a Lahui, most of the wins that we've made as a, a Lahui has really come through activism. And, and as we expound on that, into the science of nonviolent direct action, yeah? So, um, one of the first things that I, I wanna re reference is that the reason we are standing here today, the reason that we have a consciousness around our political history started really with the grassroots, yeah? And we can go way back into 1971, 1972, an organization called Aloha. Uh, individuals such as Auntie Peggy Hapo Ross, uh, Kokua Hawaii, Soli Niheo, Kalani Ohelo. And these weren't uh, academic intellectuals or government officials. These were everyday people who were struggling and resisting against the oppressive, the oppression of the system. And that's really the roots of our consciousness, and it and it it, it it compounds, right? And we and our activism grows. Of course, Kahoolawe becomes a significant struggle for us. Um, but you know, a few 
few years ago, I remember listening to Uncle Skippy Yohane who was up on the stage. And he talks about the sacrifice that they made. That they called themselves the Welfare Brigade. Imagine that, the Welfare Brigade. Because these were all Kanakas living in King's Landing in the bushes. Growing Bakalolo on welfare. But they were active in their community. And they were organizing. And they could recognize injustice. And that's the first step. They are critical consciousness, or conscientization, they call it. The ability to recognize and analyze social, economic, political injustice. And so, these are the grassroots Kanaka, the Lepo Popolo that I want to acknowledge, who had the courage to make that sa the self-sacrifice, to organize and to fight for the betterment of, of the Lahui. So, I want to be real clear about this. The progress that we made as a Lahui over the past 30 to 40 years has not been out of legislation. It hasn't been because the settlers and the politicians and those who have power felt sorry for us or because they have kindness for us. It's because we fought for these wins and we fought for this progress. And so I'll go through a little genealogy of this. Starting with Kaho Olave, right? Uncle Walter was up on this stage. Walter, George Helm, Emmett Aluli, they landed on Kaho Olave without permission. They pushed the envelope of exposing the desecration to Kaho Olave. And it wasn't because politicians felt sorry for us that they stopped the bombing or they returned the control of the 28,000 acre island to Hawaiians out of kindness. It's because it was a 25, 30 year struggle. We can look at another example. Waukele Opuna, Geothermal, Hawaii Island. This 4,000 acre pristine forest that they wanted to build a geothermal power plant. It wasn't because the politicians or those in power felt sorry for Hawaiians and, or had a consciousness of environmental protection. It was because of people like Palikapu Deadman and uh, Pele Defense Fund and Baraskipi Iowani and the Hawaii Island Moko Okeave community who fought, who occupied that land, which resulted in one of the largest arrests in modern Hawaiian history. Something like 140 Hawaiians arrested on that day to protect the forest. And that forest is undeveloped. And now Waukele Opuna has been transferred, taken out of the state, and it's transferred to a Hawaiian agency, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, that at least controls the, the forest and that land. I want to be real clear, it's not because somebody gave it to us. Because Hawaiians occupied, they defied the legal system, they defied the political system, and they took matters into their own hands and engaged in direct action to protect the Aina. Another example, Honokahua, Maui, Rich Carlton Hotel. They wanted to build a hotel on a, one of the largest grave sites. Over 1,200 burials exposed and desecrated. And they didn't, they didn't move that hotel because they wanted to do the right thing. They moved that hotel because people like Skippy Iowane, I just talked to him today, hopped the fence at Holokahua. Skippy was the first one over that fence. Another Aloha Aina, he's no longer with us, Adachi Iten, was the second one over that fence. And we need to remember these people. We need to remember their sacrifice. If it wasn't for Skippy and Adachi Iten, Palikapu, and a lot of the Lahui who hopped the fence and exposed that mass burial desecration, we wouldn't have what we have today. The result of, of Honokahua, of a simple act of hopping the fence and exposing this desecration, is the reason why we have burial councils and burial law today. That's direct action. That's not legislation. They're not giving that to us. 
We're taking matters into our own hands and we're acting as if we are already free, as if we are in control and empowered. King's Landing, Hawaii Island, Skippy, started an occupation on Hawaiian homelands. Going on 40 years now, multiple, multiple families living off the grid. It's not because Hawaiian homelands felt sorry, said, oh, we're going to open up some aina for you guys to go live off the grid and build your own house, your own hale. It's because these Kanaka took it upon themselves. Engage in direct action. Go into the forest, as Skippy says, go where dark, where nobody can see, build your hale, occupy. That's King's Landing. Pumoho Nua o Waimanalo, Bumpy Kanahele, Bumpy Ma, same thing. They don't have that aina because some governor felt sorry for the homeless and wanted to give them some land. Pungoho Nua o Waimanalo exists because they fought for it, because they occupied it, Makapu'u, because they challenged and defied the legal political system. And they forced them to give them the land that is their, their community now. This is direct action. This is activism. This is not screaming and shouting and protesting and marching. This is taking matter into our own hands and recognizing our own power. Recognizing that we have the power to leverage and push back against the state and that we can leverage the state into a favorable, favorable position for us. Kekulo Kaya Puni, Nihao O Kekaha, one of the very first Hawaiian language immersion schools in the late 1980s. Uh, the Kekaha community, west side of Kauai, with the Nihao community, they take matters into their own hands because they're not satisfied with the DOE education system. And they start a school in a park in Kekaha, Kauai. It's not because they had permission. It's not because the legislation was, the legislature was giving them money. Direct action. They started their own school at the park without permission. And now today we still have um, that school and there's been an outgrowth of that school. So Hawaiian language education immersion is also rooted in direct action in recognizing our own power that we can take matters into our own hands. Of course, culminating today in Mauna Kea, there is no TNT built on right. the top of Mauna Kea. Why? Because the Opil, the Ku Kia Imauna, took it upon themselves. While there was a lawsuit going on, and we recognize that sometimes lawsuits are important, but the, the other reality is that people blocked the road, shut down that road, prevented vehicles and heavy equipment and construction from continuing to desecrate Mauna Kea. People power, combined with political activism and legal efforts. That's why we don't have a TMT on Mauna Kea right now. It's because Hawaiians took matters into their own hands. We could not rely on the state government. We could not rely on environmental law. We cannot rely on political power in the legislature. We have to rely upon ourselves. So these are all examples of what we can do as a Lahui when we organize for our own power. And so with that, I want to close out and talk about nonviolent direct action. There's a science to it. There's an analytical part where you recognize the source of injustice, where it's coming from, where you analyze the reasons, the motivation for injustice. <coughs> Understanding that capitalism, racism, settler colonialism plays a big role in our oppression, where we analyze the path forward, what are the solutions to reclaim our power? And then we organize, how do we bring our people together and organize ourselves in a way that we, we have power to push back, to fight back, to write back, and reclaim our power to protect those things that are important to us. 
And of course, in the final stage, we have to exercise that power. And that takes courage. And it takes sacrifice. Yeah, and it, it, it really takes a lot of sacrifice. Some of us get labeled. I seen a letter that came out from the civic clubs. They didn't want to participate in this event because they didn't agree with people, the things that people like myself or Kalekwa, the things that we say. They didn't agree with the framing of this event. They didn't agree with the truth that we are in an illegal occupation after 125 years. And that's fine. They don't have to agree, but we know the truth. And we know that we cannot remain idle. And if we reflect upon our legal political history as a Lahui, we know where our power lies. We know, as I just said, what has pushed us forward with burial laws, burial councils, um, protecting fragile environments, resources, protecting those things that are sacred and significant to us. Um, one of the things I just want to close out with is we recognize that we need to organize and learn the science of nonviolent direct action and learn the techniques and the skills of analyzing power. Learning the techniques and the skills of blockades, how to prevent construction, how to shut down roads, how to engage in civil disobedience and civil resistance and not be afraid by the stigmatized and the labels that they try to place upon us. Because civil resistance and civil dis disobedience is just as American as, Amer as apple pie. There would be no civil rights for Africans Ameri African Americans if it wasn't for civil resistance. And so we cannot be seduced into thinking that these labels um, have somehow have power over us because they're stigmatized. We recognize that we need to train and learn the science of civil resistance and nonviolent direct action because that's what has given us progress and power. And so we, less than a year ago, some of us, myself, Kalekua Ka'el, Walter Ridi, my Wahine Kamil Kalama, Kahookahi Kanuha, some of our friends, Ilima Long, organizers, um, Nalani Balutski, Kahele Duplo, we got together and we envisioned creating our own training organization. Right now, in the, in the continent of the US, America, Turtle Island, there are many opportunities to attend training around nonviolent direct action. We're marginalized. Geographically, it's far, it's expensive. We have to fly out to attend these types of training. So our objective is to bring nonviolent direct action training opportunities to Hawaii. And so we created Huli in the spirit of Kokua Hawaii. That was their slogan. Soli Niheo, Kalani Ohelo, and others. Huli the system. Huli was the term, the Hawaiian perspective for revolution. In the spirit of that term Huli, we, we used it as an acronym for Hawaii Unity and Liberation Institute, where we do research. We do, we analyze the issues and the power structures, and we try to formulate strategies around nonviolent direct action to fight to protect those things that we hold valuable. So this coming year, keep an eye out for Huli. We want to be able to bring nonviolent direct action training to your community to teach you how to organize, how to create your own power to, in your community. In closing, this whole event was underpinned by a theme of unity. Unity starts in your own community. Let's get out and organize. Mahalo Nui, Aloha. Big round of applause, Brother Andre Perez. One more time, everybody. Pai Pai Lee Makako. Check, check. Andre reminded me of something very important that we, we need to continue as a people, and that is to remember those who came before us, that is, to recall, to recite, to recant those names who paved the way for us. I want us to do a little activity for a few, few seconds before we move on to our next group. I want everybody to close your eyes. Check. Close your eyes. 
I want everybody to put in your heart, put in your mind, the faces of your kumu, the faces of your kupuna, those who made an impact on you, those who guided you to the position that you're in today. And on the count of three, what I want you to do is call out their name. And if we call out their name together, then they join us here today. Then they can celebrate with us too. They're watching. But we need a call here. So on the count of three, everybody, once again, eyes closed, put those faces in your, in your now. I want to give them some leo, we give them some ola, some life. And we're going to bring them over to Iolani Palace to celebrate the continued resistance to American occupation. On the count of three, everybody, I want you to shout out their name as loud as you can, as many as you can, as many as you can remember. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, Cooney Blaisdell. Papa Soli. Hawaii Puna. Uhi Po. Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo, everybody, for showing up today. We're bringing your kupunas, bringing your kumus, bringing your keikis, bringing the future here to celebrate the vitality of Hawaii. We have not ended this resistance. Action is what we need. Action is what we need. Action is what we're about to get. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring up to the stage a diversity of hot bread from Okai. Some brothers who follow along the way. And I want to give them some time. So without further ado, I want to say mahalo everybody for coming down to celebrate the anniversary of our continued resistance. I want to bring to the stage from Oloka Inu Yahina, Brother Hano Hano Na Ehu, the Pani the Prince. Hey, oh. hey, some guys is MCs, rappers. I never start off like that. I start off from Pani Olo, and then I was labeled Aloha Aina. So now it's a Pani Olo, Aloha Aina. Gangsta hip hop MC. Lahua, I'd like to introduce you to my brother Keith Cross. Aloha. Um, I call him Poporo. I tell my nephews and nieces, call him Uncle Poporo. And I explain to him that's the darkest berry in our kingdom. It's medicinal. So it's a good thing. But um, his grandma said the blues is when you hurt. When somebody did you wrong, and we're lacking that type of music in our Hawaiian music, so we're bossing them. Persian, when you ready? Hawaiian hip hop, cold talking to the keiki. When I dress the kupuna, I'm addressing the keiki. Keiki, come closer, come closer. Kupuna, yeah, I don't know if you, this is chili pepper water. Chili pepper water. Patent Mac 
the feed, mount a tear, cruise ships, la ao, and pesticides. Nai ao puni, kanai olu walu kao ino, and DOI. Scary military, super fairy. Real estate agents, development in high rises. Michael Jen Monsanto, Do Dow, Larry Ellison, Molokai Ranch, A and B, E and I. Oha Dorfa, Westpac, BLNR, crumbling on the sofa with your stink pink eye. Cockroaches, yeah, they try to hide. The deals and the money that they're making on the slide. But Babylon, you will fall, guy. Visualize, prophesize. The porno so on the consciousness is on the rise. Our eyes is on the prize. So if the thing, oh no, to you cake, to you cake here, to you, that's all that matter. Cause, mm. But really, I really don't give a share what anybody think because I'm doing this for our queen. And we exist and we thrive. Yeah, we exist and we thrive. We create, we dream. Ready? I get some cool, cool. Right there. Yeah. To the rebels. To you, Aloha Aina. To you, patriots. To the very last. Judgmental, never over here, cuz 
en you is a rental. So be gentle and no give mento. My sentimento, my turn resentful. Then revengeful, going controversial, maybe detrimental, possibly monumental. Get them back, take them back, but slow. Why? We gotta know, do we tell our kingdom? Are who we hold, or do we give? Rebellion? Ho, ho, ho! Give them back, get them back, take them back, slow. Why? Who knows? Maybe it is time around. Peaceful. Holding hands, screaming to the top of our lungs. Who So this one is uh, to honor. Oh, bye. I love you, bye. You make me jealous because the way you look and the way you sound. But I don't want enough time for all that. But why some guys get pissed off? I don't like that. Next song is to honor uh, one of the best. Uh, Mo'i, or leaders in our history of Hawaii, and that's Umi Aliloa. And so this is to honor Waipio, a heaven on earth basically. Valley of the Kings is the name of this mele. And there's a hook at the very end where I'm going to say, O Umi Aliloa Eo Hawaii. Yeah, Four you guys got to join in. i like you guys join in. Okay? You umi Aliloa Eo Hawaii. You guys see how I'm going to say grandma all up all those. The thing real, real powerful. Ready? Okay. Remember the old days get every single answer we're looking for in our future. We just gotta be smart enough to wear for look. Diamond rings, fake ass glitter and shiny bling. MTV spring break, one night flicks. Microwave made to all the shit in hot wings. Going to the law, eat back to the river. Knock on the river, like who we stronger than ever. We never wither, slip the hither. Pulling trigger like a killer, express deliver. I'm on a little so oh no, to pull a law law. Paka, slow roll. Holo, holo on cruise control. Going through your blowhole, then hell it on down to the local. E I, mama cut with no fear. I only feel it here. But hindsight makes history crystal clear. We need to collectively shift gears. Kick some pillow buggers up in their rear. We're not dead and gone. Our generation, La Hui, is chanting in your face right here. Meet the tip of the spear. Renaissance. Cavalier, who ain't common deal? Saving the planet, our career. I'm the pony of the prince, and the champ is here. <laughs> Living next to the Hee Lobby River in our culture. Water is money, makes me super rich. 
there's a hitch Programming glitch If you see me start to twitch Run before I switch Into the ferocious guardian Abomination experiment 626 dish High powered, lock loaded With my semi-automatic banana clip Ready to defend, Ruben Be the proof in the pudding like legends and transcend Ammunition that whiz and zip Obliterate, rip, shred when they hit Native linguistic tip ballistics Paniola trigger man, quick feet draw with First crew in battle was cruise ships Pawn guardian, read my lips Aloha and the rhyme when I grab the mic and spit Rebel head part of the world's highest sleep lips Combo coming in, shot beat crisp The portal so on no, you can't resist We the gorillas that's hiding in the mix Okay, just for you guys, just for you guys, just for you guys. I already never like do one more. So, so I only need one. I only need one. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Burn. Boom. Burn. Um. Yeah. So. These songs, if, if you like chili pepper water, you can go on paniolaprince.com. We drop in this Hawaiian gangster hip hop, Molokai's first ever CD album. Tonight and tomorrow, if you go check them out, half off, $6.50 for the whole thing. Why why you did that? Uh, about thirteen dollars for the digital download. And thirteen is my favorite number. I was gonna charge Americans double, but it, it, they said I oh, shouldn't do that over there. So anyway, PaniolaPrince.com. Follow mine. Let's go, Guardians. We need you, superheroes. Mount up, the planet dying. If you get action, let's go. Pacific Ocean is where we come from All the people under the sun Together as one Time to stand and fight for all Not just some, not run Or succumb to the dumb one No faith, cause we not trying to make trouble But what you say you take it Is really more like double Environment and rubble Tipping point is on the bubble Fish you rustle When the politician you hustle Our feathers get ruffled When our run get muffled we all struggle while you cuddle and snuggle When you smuggle, you laugh at us chuckle Taking what you like, flexing military muscle But your reality is truly insanity An epic tragedy for all of humanity Ironically, you fail to see that for family We will fight to protect this world for eternity New generation God is at it right here All the children of Moana Nui are here Papa and mother, what the sky father, Pacific Ocean, this doesn't matter. surface to floor, cause when you open our native doors, it's a secret that lie in this legends and law at the core of what we need to restore is being sustainable and not needing the store. We are the natives of these lands. We 
as raw. Raping up, we fuck this over. Say no more. Tell that greedy dummy. We laugh because it's funny. When you realize you cannot eat your money. Your need for greed and your consumption. Causing the food chain to malfunction. A system broken because of your corruption. Species destruction on your destruction. Causing us to have a spiritual eruption. Gotta fight now before they leave us with nothing. New generation, God is telling right here. For the children, I'm for one and New York here. Papa and mother want to kill Sky Father. Pacific Ocean, this world and brother. Ocean is dying, and the outright lying, greed intensifying, please stop denying, dead rising, poverty multiplying, over and over again, I'm reciting, a pledge to protect what we love, till the day I'm dying, let's fight, break to break, no fighting, silly viking, Lua is counterfighting, striking, new generation, God is heading right here, all the children, all for one, a new year care. Yeah. I love you guys, but I love the item more. <laughs> And I, once again, give a round of applause for the Pony Island Prince and his beautiful wife! Yeah! How is that, huh? I see all my warriors out here. We're still here! Ew! 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 Momo! Mo. My Pony Grimes, my Clotty! She's a doctor, a medical doctor, as well as a Aloha Aina advocate, human rights advocate. She comes from good stock, <laughs> hailing from the sovereign lands of Kaava. Her father was a trailblazer. Her father did things that nobody else did before. Her mom is silent, graceful, powerful. This Tita, I'm proud to call her my sister. Got arrested with Tita Helani as well as Kalekoa and Kahokai and Andre at Nayao Puni. We're not to stand near up, to stand with our brothers and sisters up there in their place. But at her pico, she's a medical doctor taking half the cut from regular doctors that do the same thing for her, what she's doing. But she works on the Pu'uvai. And she works at Kapalama Medical Center. Give it up for your sister as well as mine. The one, the only, Dr. Kalamo, Kalamo Kaina Nihil. Laina, yau kalamo ka ni hau, mai puna mai muko ni hau, mai ohana mai nohu o o ahu. Ako ka ni Henry Beloki ake a eloa soli ni hau, ako a hine when el epne kiam. Aliku ona koala ka papa. 125 years 
occupation. 125 years oppression. 125 years suppression. 125 years secret rebellion. 125 years for Pula Pula. 125 years of rebellion. 125 years of resistance, rising, reclamation of Aina, land, peoples, power, language. Through resistance and love of Aloha Aina. Our peoples have always stood with aloha. Our peoples have stood for the aina. And we, as we have seen this past weekend, there are forces out there raising fear, instigating terror, endangering all of humanity, threatening our people. Look what happened. Why do we have a threat of nuclear war? Is it because of Kapai Aina Aole? We are a friendly, neutral nation, occupied against her will, American by force, not by choice, with a target drawn across our hearts. But from 40,000, we grow, we rise, to 677,000 strong. We were supposed to die. We were supposed to disappear, but we did not. We are here. We are surviving. We are alive and we rise. Ayo, ayo, ayo. And in the words of Kapihe, Eihu ana iluna, e pia no lalo. That which is below will rise up. That which is above will be taken down. And the islands will rise together as one. Once again, round of applause for Dr. Kalama Okaina Niheo. Mahalo Tita. Before we bring up the next, the next group, I just want to mahalo every one of you right here, still here. Mahalo Nui Loa. Folks are still here. Today was a joyous, a glorious day. When we was collaborating on doing the march, and we talked about being the significance of 125, a lot of Kanaka was gonna come, and sure enough, we had over 2,000 and we marched today. But we was thinking the safety of everybody. So I and me, Tita Kapua, Kili Kokamai, Tita Lala Nas, we went to the meetings. And to us, we was thinking, we need to get that permit to shut down the route. But everybody else that was at the table, which I love them dearly, they said, HPD is not going to close down the roads. They're not going to shut them down. They said that the first meeting, the second meeting, and the third meeting. And all that time, inside of my na'au, everything that we do, I don't do for Kaukau. I do for our Lahui. I do for our Aina. I do for our Kupuna that went before us. And we went in Pule. And our Kupuna went listen. And then Vehe Hikyal. And open the way. And to the efforts, Tita Tatiana Young as well as Tita Lala Nas, Tita Kapua Kiliko, Kamai, myself. On behalf of Hui Kulikikako, we get the permit! 
And we was able to shut down our entire route this morning. We had HPD. You know, I don't see eye to eye with HPD. But I can tell you one thing, after work, today working with them, the Community Relations Department, my Kailoa. The very my Kailoa, because that's the thing. For teach aloha to the rookies. Because Lord, and, Lord knows I've been around the rookies. Everybody else been around the rookies. And it's hard to be around the rookies. But the Community Relations Department, they teach the rookies how to have compassion. And remember that, and check this out. We get Sergeant Anthony Liho Liho Kalahui. He was leading to have that name, Kalahui. And his Kanaka name, Liho Liho. How's that? And I told him, ah, oh, get big Kuleana with his Inoa. But he understands that and he takes that kuleana and he shares the narrative to the young rookies that HPD was created by Kawikia Oli, Kamehameha the third, so that they will never forget who they are and who they're supposed to take care. Kanaka Oivi, Kanaka Mali, I mean, Napoe Hawaii, Hikino. So mahalo nui, mahalo nui to everybody who's still here. We still get more coming. I just wanted to share someone out with you guys. I still see Moko Kiave over here. You see this man right here? This is Uncle Doug, Matsuoka. Hello Uncle Doug. You know Uncle Doug, before we had live stream, Facebook, he had his iPhone and he was live streaming from our iPhone. All aloha aina, anything for do with the aina. And I'll call him up and I'll contact him. Hey, Uncle, you gonna be live streaming today? He said, I'll be there. Mahalo nui. Good dog. I got Moko Kiava to Stafford Ohana. Kainoa, raise your hand, my brother. That's Kainoa and his beautiful wife, my cousin, P.E. Kia. Kiava Kane and Stafford. They hold on down on Moko Kiava with documentaries. And if you guys seen the video with Auntie Lynette Cruz, Cousin Pikia, Cousin Kainoa, as well as Leilani Kaupuni. And they were saying, I am not an American. Say that, everybody, with me. I am not an American. I am not an American. I am not an American. I am a Kanaka Maori. I am a Kanaka Maori. I am Kikyo Kaina. I am Hawaii. I am Hawaii. Mahalo nui, everybody. Mahalo nui. Give you guys a round of applause, everybody. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. So right now, we're going to call up this musical group. Kapono. Hele my mane, my brother. Keo Lola. Hele my mane. These brothers, they're always ready for it for throw down for the lahui. Politically, musically. As they come up to the stage, they're called Kapu System. They're gonna share their makana with you folks. How's everybody feeling right now? Maikai? You know, we're pulling for this weather too. Because they said that it was gonna be windy, it was gonna be raining. And I just wanted to say something. From this morning, our hui kuli kikako, before we even start to do anything, we we'll gather up all our hui and we we'll pull it. We we'll mihi and we'll ask for forgiveness so that we can do the work today in righteousness. And we can make our kupuna proud. And we we'll pull it for this weather as well. And my kailoa. It was beautiful today, now a little bit chilly. That's why more I love you guys, because you guys are still here. So we're going to have a couple system coming up. And after that, we get the spotlight on that handsome Kanaka in the red sitting down right there. Right there. The one, the only, Kaleko Kael. When we started this meeting to gather up, 
names was being thrown out. Who shall be our closer? And unanimously, everybody voted. I love you, my brother. Because he shall leave us inspired. That's all we need. We need that light inside us to burn bright, to shine the way. Only in righteousness. Yeah? Yeah. And that's the man right there. I love you, Kalekwa. HPD, M MPD, K KPD, all of them. They must. Oh, no, I'm not Kalekwa again. How much times you got arrested, my brother? Too much times, huh? <laughs> you keep me out with Apostolic. Right on. So, without further ado, everybody, we're gonna have couple system coming up. You guys ready for Chori Down, brother? Oh no? I was about to round of applause for our sound man, Mr. Roland Chang. And his assistant. If I call you know, my brother. Oh, oh, that's his son. How's that, eh? Father and son team. Mahalo Nui. You might call me. I want to say some words, my brother, to inspire the Lahui before Kapu system get down and sling them down. Hey, give it up for my partner in crime here. This is our version of Kale Koa Kaeo. This is Oahu's version. Mr. Michael Ani Winchester. Hello, oh, Kako. I don't know about that Kale Koa comparison, but I do yell at <laughs> students pretty well. That's true. I yell real good. Uh, we're real excited today to have all of our OPO around. We're excited to have all of our Kiai, all of our Ohanas from all the different communities come check us out today. When I first met these brothers, Kapu System, they were young, 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 young Kanakas, just fresh out of high school, fresh beat, we used to call them. And at Thomas Square, the last Sunday of every July, we get together, the Lahui does. And we remember Lahui Hoi Ea, Restoration Day. And these brothers was brought on by special request because some of these guys come from charter schools. Some of you guys who know me, Oh, that I work a little charter school named Halau Kumana, ew. And at Halau Kumana, we get to talk about culture, we get to talk about politics, we get to talk about history, we get to restore Aina, we get to restore Lokoi'a, we get to sail to the Moku Kupuna. We get to dance, we get to chant, we get to build walls, we get to tear them down too. And if you are looking for an educational opportunity and experience similar to the one that I am expressing to you here today, then I will encourage you to find your local charter school, Hawaiian Focus Charter School, and sign up. If you got a checkbook, I would also suggest you guys sign a little check over to your local charter school as well. Many of us know here that Hawaiian education struggle has been real for charter schools. We receive a roughly 60% of what every per pupil for every public uh, public school is given. Meaning, while everybody gets a full slice of pie, we got 60% of that pie. Somebody's already taking their bite out. Imagine that. But we make it happen because the strongest swimmers swim in the roughest seas. Because our kupuna, we're keen at adaptability and our values, our culture impress upon us the importance of adjustability. And our schools continue to thrive despite being put into drug parks. Now we grow food. Rather than be placed next to mental institutions, we grow consciousness. And so I want to encourage all of us here today to please, those of you who follow legislation, those of you who are voices, for our representatives and our senators who can hear my voice today, please, please, pretty please, the sugar on top. Support charter schools. We need equitable funding for our keiki. We need equitable funding for our haumana. We need facility support. Did you know that charter schools receive zero funding? Zero funding? Yeah, zero funding for their facilities. But we people of the Lepo, we the people who eat pohaku. And you know what we made out of Opala? We made gold, we made aina. We brought the streams alive. 
We planted our ancestor hollow into the ground and we feed our people from the trees, the invasive that we knocked down. And we put them to work like we expect all the people of Hawaii to put their weight. So whether you Oivi, whether you Pelicane, whether you Yopana, whatever it is, you over here, welcome. Now put your weight. Stand up for what is right. This is not a day for Oivi. This is a day for all of Hawaii's people. People of all races, people of all ethnicities, of all backgrounds. This is our day to come together for unity and justice for the Hawaiian people. The young man ready to perform for us today, Kapu System, harking back to the days of old. When management of larger complex systems were necessitated with these complex structures that were deemed the Kapu System. And since the fall of the Kapu System, Koleas have come to feast on our land. And so as the prophecy says, one day, the seventh generation, these brothers, Hello ladies and gentlemen, a quick announcement out there. We're looking for a beautiful little girl but goes by the name of Ili Kea, not Ehu. She's running around over here. If you find her, she's about eight years old. She responds to Ili Kea. If you find her, she'll be wearing a... She'll respond to Ili Kea. Call I don't have that information. But if you see the beautiful woman, Miley, the presenter, the performer, please go and see her. She just wants to put eyes on her cakey. Mahalo, everybody. Again, this is our Lahui, so we're going to take care of one another. Always keep an eye for our kids. My kids are your kids. Your kids is my kids. And sorry, I yell at kids. Just like the weed whacker. Got to make everything nice as the low, yeah? All right, we're ready to rock. Couple system is plugged in. These brothers are fired up, ready to go. So mahalo for coming down to Yolani Palace today to celebrate our resistance, to celebrate our unending pursuit for justice for our people, for our lands, for our queen. We are not American! 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 Are not American. Are not American. Let those words ring 25 more years into the future and let this spark the fire that will burn the system of our oppression down. Ladies and sisters, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, let me introduce to you Kapu System! Aloha, my Kapu. Big respect and mahalo to everybody that's been here all day. But even if you're not, if you was here, you're here. We're couple system. We're gonna sing a rendition of the song. A song that was written after the overthrow. Mele Aruhaina. This is how it goes. Kaulana na kuwa. Oh my 
Laura, I need you, little beautiful little girl. Her name is Kalahina Ikeo. If you see her, on the bottom, what color is she wearing, bro? White tank top. Black and white legs. If you see a little girl running around. She has a TV player in her head. She goes by the name Didi Kao. Kalahina Ikeo. And again, if you see her, please bring her to the back. Stay follow me along. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you can hear me, come to the stage. I think what I know my big girl stay too. I really like talk to her right now. Uh, continue live, if you can. Okay, so we're going to get leakage. <laughs> Restoration is our mission. 
Venga, para la pono. Yeah, hello, my Kaku, once again, we are Kaku System and we're glad to play on the grounds and in front of our people. Put back feet. Once again, we are the youths. We tell all the youths inspired by the Pupuna and all the people before us who run on the Aina. This next song we call We Want the Roots. And it was made two years ago when I said 123, but this year is 125. And I just want everybody to hold oi, hold oi pono to what we sing. Because no matter how you do them, whether you plant in the Aina, whether you do hula, makulelo Hawaii, mele Hawaii. We are in contributing to the same sauce. Hey, Mao Mao, for everybody out there. Be proud of that. Because there's only one Kamaka Maoli, and that's this place, and that's the people who live on this Aina specifically. Yo. Running couple system. Back to water, I 
Adali guru ben kali mukuli ah Iki sane wana we are the time never get up Hey! Kudu wa mi wan zame rute kocha Lada wa mi wan zame rute Rhythm! I want to move Move Oh, piha, piha, oh, piha, oh, 
working together, Lord Kahi, we must have as a great book says, we must have the faith and belief as Papa Mao Piainu, Brother Junior over there, who taught us, if I have courage, it is because I have the faith in the teachings of my ancestors. Now unfortunately for too much of our people, this faith was broken because of miseducation and uneducation. We all know 125 years ago, our people understood and knew what it was to be a Kanaka in their own homeland. But unfortunately, because of the greed and the sickness of supremacy, those who came to take over to the force of the gun pointed at our people were able to manipulate the situation after the invasion. And the situation, of course, was to rob from us our identity, to erase from us our consciousness as a Lahui Kanaka, and to develop in us the sense of idea of being inferior to those who came to conquer us. But I'm here to say, Wapau Kapo, Wau Kako, those days are over and long gone. Our people have risen and will continue to rise. Whether you are Kanaka or Ibi or Kiyaina, and we have been here for 2,000 years, or you are a recent transplant who come to live amongst our people. And what I always say, if you are serious about the future of Hawaii, it doesn't matter if you purple, green, yellow, or pink. It doesn't matter if you got dreadlocks, long hair, bobo head, whatever it might be. We are all in the same vow. That vow we must re-come and deal. But see, the miseducation has taught us somehow that it's not our vow. In fact, somebody else knows better on how to ho'okele and navigate this vow. But see, we understand because of re-education, remembering, revitalization of our cultural and historical understandings, that it's just a matter of time when the new generation will take re-control of this vow so we can become masters of our own destiny. But in order to do that, we must listen to like the words of Brother Angela, he spoke earlier. Those in charge, including the collaborators and the compradors, let's tell the truth. Some of our people are in service to the dominators. They fat in their pockets and are paying. They have nice, beautiful, gated community houses while the majority of our people struggle. And sadly, many of our women and children still live under the blue tarps on our beaches. This is not a normal situation. This is a situation which has been put upon our people. And we only have two choices. Either we succumb and submit and stay silent and not fight back and go in the corner or cry or we say no more. We are Kanaka. Oivi to this Aina. The people of this land who have come forward to reclaim our destiny as real human beings in our homeland for us to decide and determine our future. But in order to do that, we must commit ourselves to do, as Malcolm X says, whatever is necessary to push us into the future. We cannot allow fear to guide us. Like in the words of Kamehameha, when he stood at the Puwane and the Battle of Iyao, when he took the sovereignty from my kupuna. But he said, let's move forward, young brothers, and drink the bitter waters, because there's no turning back. Struggle is never sweet. 
Struggle is never easy. Struggle isn't something that just occurs. But struggle is the key to progress, as the great Frederick Douglass said. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. The state capital and those who impose those laws upon our people and those who justify the kind of violence upon our people, who justify those kinds of programs that continue to exploit and destroy our environment, must be challenged. We have no choice. We are engaged in a battle of survival. But I'm not here just to survive. Has been said, we are here to thrive. This has always been part of our destiny. We are not Johnny come late, as I say, upon this earth. We know our kupuna, who sailed across the largest body of water to come to this place, the most remote place in the world, were special people. They were fearless the most innovative, and the ability to adapt to the situation provided our kupuna with those tools of strength to create a society unlike any other upon this earth. Whereas if you look at the history, we gotta understand not just what happens in 1893 or in 1897 or 1898, but to understand, for example, like in 1843, we must tell the story and history where great leaders like Timoteo Ha'aliliu who led a contingent. Sadly, if you get a chance to ever read his story, it's quite apparent that he understood he may not come back to his most beloved land and family, but he understood that if our people were to survive and thrive into the future, we had to engage in the rest of the world fearlessly, and they travel across to Europe with Sir George Simpson and William Richards, and they're able, as genius as he is, to create the greatest powers in the world at that time, to recognize Hawaii's status, the Hawaiian kingdom, as an independent a nation state. This is an important thing to remember, because when you hear people talking about, oh, Hawaiians trying to get sovereignty. See, that's part of the miseducation. Sovereignty had already been gotten back in 1843. We're not trying to get that sovereignty. We're trying to get back our minds. You see, that's the question. Our minds is really what's most important. As the great Kwai Puna preaching used to say, don't worry about the chains on your legs. Pay attention to those chains on your brains. Because those chains in our brains is what keeps our people under the thumb of oppression. And there's a couple of things I wanted to mention in the struggle, just to talk about things that are out there. For anybody, all of us, you, me, and even better, we can participate in those things to challenge directly the powers to be about our right. We have no need to really to argue to them to declare that we are human beings. It is up to us to believe ourselves as being human beings and demand we should be treated as human beings. We can look at Maui. Let me just talk about Maui. We talk about the protection of our EOE, I mean our EV and our sacred sites. And one of the things I say, if we cannot even protect our sacred sites, don't talk to me about us being free. Don't talk to me about the, the blessings of this United States of American system upon our people. Our EV, even to this day, are being dug up. And if you're familiar with the story of Kakanilua, in Wailuku, Navai'eha, the sand mining that occurs, literally, one of the most important places but the remains of our ancestors were put into the ground forever. The illegal sand mining continues on to this day with its sand, with the remains of our kupuna. And I'm not talking about a few dozen. I'm talking at this point where hundreds, if not thousands, of our kupuna have been dug up in these sand mines. 
taken to this island, turned into cement to construct the rail project on this island. That's the evil of our kupuna in that rail project. And we were supposed to sit around and stand quiet and depend on the state of Hawaii government and Governor Ige to protect our humanity. We're not fools. We understand that we must stand up and rise and speak. We can talk about in Hotel Hanamaui, where Travasa Hotel, who took over the control of Hotel Hanamaui, is currently digging up our ancestral remains in order to develop the sewer facilities for the rich and famous in Hanamaui. This is ongoing to this day. You know, and my cousin, Kai, went in there, following his now, jumped in the hole to stop that project. And they locked him up for 48 hours in that process. And his sacrifice is something that helped to wake up the consciousness, consciousness of our people. But fortunately, at this point in time, the project has stopped temporarily. But the point being, my point is to understand, you don't need an army to affect change for our people. What you need is the determination and the courage, like our kupuna and the aloha for our people to do whatever is necessary. And finally, let me just talk a little bit about my current case that I'm dealing with right now. On my second arrest in regards to the Halakla telescope development, brought into court, going through the process again of being charged with disorderly conduct for putting our bodies in front of some trucks. We got arrested, taken in, charged. And in my defense, as per se, I decided on this step, of course, like I've done in other cases, is to defend myself. So whereas, in my defense, to best demonstrate that we are, as Kanaka, are not God, we're still here, not just surviving, but demanding our recognition of humanity. I demand myself, to defend myself in the language of this land. Unfortunately, on Maui, the prosecution department on Maui put in a motion a few weeks back which demanded that I not be able to defend myself in the Hawaiian language. That in fact, I had to defend myself in the language of an oppressor and a settler. And what do you think I did? Of course, I kept on speaking in a mother tongue. Oh Maui, I'm going Hawaii. So at this point, we will engage on January 24th, 10 a.m. But I will demand that I continue to defend myself in the Hawaiian language. I'm not sure what the judge is going to do. Maybe he'll just ignore my speaking. Or he might hold me in contempt of court. Either way, it's a win. Either way, I refuse to submit. Either way, I refuse to succumb. Either way, I will not allow them to dehumanize us as a people. I do not have to ask for their permission. In fact, I refuse to beg them for this right. But this is the same 
action that all of us, in our own way, in our own struggles, in our own dealings in life in Hawaii, that we all can do. Because it will take an army, not an army of people running around with guns, but an army of conscious Kanaka who understand our history, who understand our culture, and even better, understand that we must stand. The time is now. We can no longer allow the settler to determine our future. Because if they do, we will disappear upon this earth. But I'm not afraid, just like our kupuna, who set sail 2,000 years ago, I'm not afraid because those teachings and their knowledge and their courage that they had is the same that we all carry to this day. We, the Lahui Kanaka, will move forward. We, the Lahui Kanaka, we become the masters of our own destiny. Mahalo Pai Pai Lima Kako, everybody! Pai Pai Lima Kako! Kae Koa! Kae! I want to send a special mahalo to all of our presenters today, all of those who gave Ha'iolelo, gave voice to our history, gave voice to our nation, gave voice to our plight, continue to share the story, continue to compose. Continue to incite, continue to inspire. 25 years ago, this next musician came on this stage and made famous what has now been lovingly adopted by our people as a melody similar to that of our national anthem. A melody that speaks to unity, to action, to enlightenment, a call out to our kupuna, a call out to our opio, a call out for unification. <laughs> Mahalo everybody for being here today. On behalf of all the organizers, Kao Kaohu, all of you guys who are in the background, all of the speakers, Kao Kai, Andre Perez, Kalamani Hill, Jamaica Osorio, all of the musicians, Uncle Opaka, Armola Nai, Mamohalo, the Pani Old Prince. To our allies, Navid and Keith. Mahalo for weaving your mana in with our Lahui, for making us stronger, for helping us spread our Moholelo. Mahalo to all of you who are taking video today. I'm going to share this with the rest of our Lahui around the world. Spread the word. Why King of Lives? Hello. Why King of Lives? Hello. Finally, tonight, before we send everybody home, we want to say mahalo. From the bottom of our now, from Moko Okiawe, all the way up to the Kukuna Islands, even farther than that. We're blessed with a beautiful day, we're blessed with beautiful faces, and stop being the sexiest Lahu in the world. I know, but we gotta do it! We gotta do it! It's a cross to bear. So ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to kick it off for our last performance for the night, for this evening. So if you want to come up a little bit closer, as the sun starts to set on Hawaii, if you want to get close to somebody and hold hands, we're going to close it out like we always close it out in Hawaii. This is one of the things we do, it's tradition, it's custom, it's who we are. And who we are. And here we are, ready to present for you. Yeah. Turn, you turn, 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 get a little bit of book down, the book a little bit. Yeah, I'm well, who we are, a little bit more on the, on the book. Yeah. 
This is a song for the Patriots. For the Ladies Patriots. and gentlemen, Lico Marte, Pai Pai Lima. Oh, shit. 
Father, hey, nice to see. Father, I tell you, the, the seeds that were planted 40 some odd years ago have grown into a forest. Just as a historic note, no. um, on January 17, 1977, this man right here stood in this place on this bandstand with a number of great people, including George Helm, Uncle Harry Mitchell, um, and a number of other people, Kwai Puna Prajin, and a number of people on the first Sovereign Sunday, which they called uh, All Hawaii Stands Together, Hawaii Loa Kuli Ke Kako event, which has since then been held every year, every year at this palace. And we are here today as a continuation of that. It just goes to show you what can happen with a little research, okay? Kauai Puna had gotten $50,000 from the Ford Foundation, okay? He was positioning to do a treaty violation study coming from Geneva. And with that money, he sent researchers to Washington, D.C. And until that day, we couldn't really talk about anything. Nobody knew a lot. But since that day till now, we've come a long way. And now it's, you know, uh, it's kind of like walking backwards. So anyway, here we are. We're not there yet. It takes all fingers of the hand. We got all four corners. But we gotta use our tongue to palima. So it's been 125 years that the people have been standing strong in this place, and it's been since 1977 that that the this movement has been standing strong and loud and proud in this place. And oh, at that time. In 1977, Uncle Lico Martin played a brand new song that he had written at that time. And I think that's going to be our last song for this event. But it's not the last song for this Lahui. No! We will continue to stand strong. This is 125 years of survival and strengthening. And we are ready to bully this. It is time for us to take the stand on the land that we need. And we, every single one of us here today, are carrying on that legacy of Queen Liliuokalani, of George Helm, of Kuwai Puna Prejin, of, of Uncle Liko, and of everyone who stand here, Uncle Ricky. And every day, coup a every way, coup a USA, coup a coup a. Coup a every day, coup a every way, coup a USA. Woohoo! Coup a mahalo. All of us stands together, right? Stand together, song. Wrote it in English. When I grew up, you know, I didn't know what Hawaiian food was. I couldn't, as a common story, you know, Uncle Punas couldn't speak the language. And Tipilai came into Kauai Puna's office and she translated into Hawaii Loa Kuni Ke Kako. And today, you try to sing it and it becomes a long melody, but I thought protocol wise, we sing the Kanako Lalo first and then the English verse afterwards, and I think then. We we set in sail, okay? And that's all of us. It don't matter if you know the words.
Coming in from Maui, New York, come on. Bring it to the fire. All the way from the Valley Isle. We want to say mahalo to all of you for all your hard work, your dedication. We look forward to another year. And in one year, we challenge you all here today to do something great. So that when we come back here one more time and have this circle, our Lahui has been built anew. Our Lahui has gained just a little bit more. I want to thank you today on behalf of all the organizers who have come through. On behalf of all of our kupuna that have passed away, we want to send you guys home with a special mahalo, a thank you, and a kelo kako. I'm gonna get a shot here in front of the uh, palace because that's where we are. I want to thank everybody that's uh, followed me. I had kind of uh, two uh, sessions. One in the morning, we uh, marched down uh, from Onala to Yolani uh, Palace and, uh, to the uh, Capitol building. So then. At the end of the uh, presentations, there are a lot of presentation speakers, musicians. Uh, and I know a lot of people had to go home, so I thought I'd broadcast a live uh, from the late speakers, were, because some of them were really good. Uh, Andre Perez, Kaleko Akaeo. Um, and the, and the music at the end was good. Some people would have missed it, so I thought I'd live stream it. This is also available on demand. Uh, it's live to Facebook. 
and uh, I'm gonna download it to YouTube eventually don't hold your breath might take a few days and once again thank you very much and I'll see you again soon thanks mahalo mahalo